Bold Beauty with Lexi here. Um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I am going to show you some awesome stuff, but first, the subscription button is below, you guys. Go ahead and click on that, along with the bell right beside it, which will notify you guys when I have any videos coming out, which will be more consistently. I'm looking to upload twice a week. So, um... Besides that, I am Lexi. I am a beauty guide with Limelight by Alcone. Um, but that is not all my videos are centered on YouTube. I am going to teach you guys, show you guys how to get a full coverage look using the Perfect Complexion Palette from Limelight. You get two concealers, one foundation, um, wax base foundation, wax base concealer, both 50% pigmented, concealers waterproof, guys. This is awesome. 76 bucks. 76 bucks, saving a lot of money on this. So, first I'm going to go in with concealer number three, which is this more yellowy one on the bottom. And I'm going to put it under my eyes. I already have my eyes and eyebrows done. So, um, I like to do that first, first so I can clean up any mess that I got under my eyes. So, Concealer number three is very good for canceling out dark tones like browns, blues, and blacks, so dark circles, of course. So I'm going to put that under my eyes. One second here, I got to grab my trusty mirror. I'm going to set him up just right here, I think. I think he'll do... Or I could set him up right next to you. <laughs> there we go. So if I'm looking right here, it's because my mirror is right there. And I shouldn't have to look a lot. But like I said, I'm going into whoops, concealer number three. And I'm just putting it on with my finger for right now. And like I said, this is really good for canceling out blues, blacks, brown tones, dark tones. So it's perfect for dark circles. And then I'm also going to take it and just put it on any red marks that I may have that I want to cover um and I only have a couple right now but what was that what was that <laughs> uh, I'm just going to put it over my eyes one more time Everything has a place, you guys. Everything has a place where it's supposed to go. So I will be going over that. It just got super shady outside, so the lighting is changing. I'm so sorry, you guys. Great. It's all dark now. But anyways, I'm just blending this in. I'm just patting it, pressing it with my beauty sponge. Um, you can use a concealer brush if you feel the need to. Um, you can use a beauty blender, beauty sponge, whatever you feel the need to use, whatever you feel is right for you. Just make sure everything is blended in. Just make sure everything is blended in nicely before you put your concealer on. Or your foundation on, my bad guys. Whenever I shoot these videos, I just, I can't talk, and I don't know if you guys just make me nervous or what it is, but you guys do something to me, so congratulations. But once again, just make sure everything is really blended. Blending is your friend, you guys. And then, I'm going to take concealer number zero, which is the top concealer right here. And this is very good for highlighting. So I am going to take it and I'm going to place it under my eye right here and just bring it down a little bit to highlight right here where I normally would. This right there. And then I am going to also place this in my T zone where I would normally highlight, you know, down the center of my nose, Cupid's bow, on your chin. There we go. Now, I am going to blend this out first, but you guys, when you put your foundation on, 
you don't want to put it over the area where you put your highlight on. So, in order to get like that natural-esque look, 3D look, you want to make sure everything is in its place. And this is where the brighter, spot, brighter spots of your face are supposed to be. So, when you're putting on your foundation, you kind of want to put it around. And I'll show you guys how you can use this like a liquid foundation because it is wax based. That might put you guys off, but you can use it just like a liquid foundation. I'll show you guys how to in a minute. But you want to blend this in. And then when you put the foundation on, I'll show you guys how. Um, you want to put it around where you did these areas. And then when you're blending it in, you want to blend it kind of in towards the highlight but you don't want to put it over it because like I said everything has a place on your face so you want to make sure everything is in its right place and guys makeup is all preference so if you do your makeup a different way and you don't like this advice then you don't have to take it I am just doing what I learned and showing you guys the tips and tricks that have worked for me and that I have seemed to really notice a difference with. So when I am blending under my eye, I am looking upwards to make sure I really get under my eye. And to do this, specifically, I would suggest using a beauty sponge because it does get into smaller places that um, concealer or that brushes cannot get to. So you just wanna make sure that everything is really blended in. Sorry, you guys. Blend, blend, blend. Blending is your friend. And if you have any harsh lines, you just want to make sure those are all blended out. And the foundation will blend into these colors and make them... You'll just see the finished product, guys. You will see the finished product. Okay, so that's all blended out. Now... If you guys are used to using a liquid foundation and you're nervous about a wax-based foundation, don't be worried whatsoever. You can rub your finger on this and warm it up because it activates to the warmth of your skin. So it activates to heat. Um, so you can just rub your finger in it, warm it up like so. And as you're doing that, you can put it just rub it like this and it is just going on my finger it's warming it up and I'm just putting it in the areas where and just like with anything you can get too much product some places so you do want to make sure you're not applying too much because anything can make you look cakey. Okay, I think just one more. And guys, now that I've warmed this up, it's like it feels so like it just feels like a liquid in a pan. And with this, you can actually melt this down. Um, because it activates the heat, so it will melt down. If you hit the pan right here, it will melt it down to brand new. Like, I hit the pan in this, I melted it down, and it looks like brand new now. So, any excess that you have, you can wipe on your face. And I am taking my beauty blender. Um, you can use a brush or a beauty blender. I prefer to use a beauty blender. And just blend this all together. You can use whatever size of the beauty sponge you want. I use the round side. But, like I said, I'm not going all the way up into the highlighted areas. I'm just blending it to where it looks like natural-esque. This will really give you that, like, 3D look that everyone is going for these days.
this will look, make everything on your face look so like just blended together very nicely and it'll make it just fit and flow together. That's the word I was looking for, flow. So like I said, I just blend the product up. So when there when I blend this all out down here, I do go up and just blend this out and drag this out so it's not taking all the color away from where the highlight was. So I try and drag the highlighted area down too. And you always want to make sure that you blend on the neck area so there's no harsh lines because you don't want anyone to notice where your foundation is ending and your skin is beginning. Right, that's the point of makeup is to enhance your natural beauty. So that is the foundation. So that is how you get a perfect full coverage look using our Perfect Complexion Palette. I am going to go into a little bit more detail. I am going to go over this because our foundation and concealer is wax based. It does need to be set and this can put some people off too. But don't let that fool you if you have just a setting powder, a translucent powder, or whatever you guys. I'm using our perfect color powder to set everything. You can use a setting spray, a powder that you already have. Don't let that put you off. It just is a powder that needs to go over it so it doesn't move and stays in place all day. So I am going to be using just this little powder brush that I have because this is a sample um, palette and we have all of the shades. I do need a smaller brush to get into here. So I am going to go in with my natural color, which is number two right here. And I can color match anyone who needs um, a color match if you guys are interested in any of this. So this is based off of your foundation, so it matches with the foundation that you wear. So I am going to go into powder number two that matches with Shinto Zero, which is the foundation that I wear. So I am going to go in with this as my base color and just tap this and I'm just using this as a setting powder you can use it as a um, full coverage um, powder foundation but because I did put foundation on already I am just using this as a setting powder but I do like to press it into the skin instead of rubbing or swiping, sweeping, whatever you want to call it, you guys. I just feel like with this, um, it just fits better. And I am going to be going in with another color um, to do my t-zone I am going to go over everywhere that I've gone over I absolutely love showing you guys how awesome these products are like, when I say that these these products are professional, they are professional, you guys. Like, they are cherry-picked from the best of the best brands. So, we get the best of the best formulas. So, this, I don't remember who this is made by. Our um, translucent powder is by RCMA. Our eyeshadow formula is by El Maquillage. Um, no manufacturer is the same for makeup products so we have the best formulas this is a different formula than our foundation is because we have the best of the best brands we've been waiting like two years to get these powders and we finally have them you guys they're amazing they're fine milled HD powders and they blur your fine lines and wrinkles and they are absolutely amazing I love them and um, if you were to get like a trio palette, you could get three colors and do like even a contour shade because I'm going to show you guys how you can contour with this too. 
Actually, I'm going to save that for another video. So, stay tuned for how to contour with multiple pressed powders. Um, I am going to go in with our lightest shade, which is number one. And I'm going in and I am going to go under my eyes. Again, I'm looking up to make sure I'm getting under my eyes fully. And this is just going to highlight and brighten up under the eyes to give you more of that awake, awake-ish looking look. And this I'm putting all in my T-zone, so everywhere that I put that concealer is where I am putting this. And I just put a little bit extra under my eyes. So, there is that. You guys, I can't express to you how amazing this stuff is. Like, the finished look to this, I don't know if you guys can see up close, but this is my skin. It looks gorgeous. Like, I love the way that it looks when it's all finished. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing more about our Perfect Complexion Palette. This is how you can get a full coverage look using it plus our pressed powders. I will be showing you how to contour with our pressed powders using multiple colors. So that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in to see what my next video is. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Love you.